right in this place we want to continue by creating our fetch notebook in Jupyter. We've succeeded in downloading Anaconda and setting up Anaconda with Jupyter Notebook in our, in our system. And now I want to create our notebook and see how it looks like. <laughs> Remember to subscribe, click on the subscribe button uh, below you so that you get updates when I make new lessons. So these are the procedures we are going to follow. We'll open Anaconda we've installed and then we continue from there. So I'm going to explain everything very clearly to you as we proceed. All right, I'm going to put away this PowerPoint and then we get to work. So now if you go to your start menu, you will see Anaconda Navigator. Don't open it. This is not what we want to use. Just look for the folder Anaconda. For me, 64-bit Anaconda 3. Drop down and you'll see some items. You'll see Anaconda prompt. Some might also use command prompt, but let's keep it simple. Let's use uh, the GUI. So just look for Jupyter Notebook and just open it. Now, there is a few things you need to know. Uh, Jupyter Notebook is actually serving uh, files from a web server. So it creates a web server on the fly and it's serving web pages on the browser. So now, let me just explain to you about the screen. So you have the location of the web server is this. But take note of where it will store your notebooks. Savvy notebooks from local directory C slash user slash HP. So this is the location, the default location, like the workspace where it will store automatically save your workbooks. So let's go to look at the. So this is called the dashboard. So this is called the dashboard. This is not a notebook. It's just a dashboard where you are going to be working. If you look at the URL, it says tree. So this tree represents the default directory where it is actually going to save your notebooks. Sometimes it may be necessary to change it, sometimes not. So let's go ahead to look inside this directory. This is this directory, uh, this C users HP. So if I go to my drive C, I can always look at that directory in case I want to move things around. So go to drive C and go to users and go to HP. So this is the directory where your notebooks will be stored. So you can see the, the, uh, the files, 3D objects and all the rest of it. This is the content uh, starting from this all the way downward. Anaconda 3, contact, desktop and so on. All right, so let's quickly create our face notebook. To create our face notebook, at the upper right corner, choose new and choose Python 3. So at this point, we will see a notebook. This is what a notebook looks like. Now there are some things you need to know about a notebook. A notebook has a, a menu. It has a, a, a file menu and other menu items. Uh, that is uh, the menu bar right on top. I'll, I'm going to explain this, some of these things, especially the ones you need. Now the downwards you have uh, this space here is called a cell. A cell is actually where you type uh, programs. You can actually insert more cells if you want, and then you can delete it by click by saying cells, and then choose uh, okay. So to delete a cell, I think you go to edit and just say delete cells. It deletes just one of the cells. So now we need to change the name of this notebook. We don't want it to be entitled as you can see here. So simply go to file and just go to rename. I'm going to call it tutorial2 and I'm going to rename. <coughs> so at this point you can see that the name has been changed to tutorial2. So what happens? We can always write a program inside a cell. Take note that a cell is actually uh, a large space that can be several lines long so what it starts with a single line so let's write our first program let's say we say 
let's assume we write print uh, print hello world you know, that is a basic program everybody knows so that we've written this program and then we click on run to run it so we see the code and we see the output remember when we define Jupyter Notebook is we say that Jupyter Notebook packages the program as well as the output and other things like graphics codes models and so on into a single package that can be distributed or even run elsewhere so let's write uh, just one more line of code so that we can see how it goes let's say i declare a variable called name equal to so at this point uh, and in line two i just say print name and then if i click on run it prints this now when you are writing a program it can also take variables from existing cells from cells that are have been used previously so it means that if i say print and i say my name is and then plus This keyboard is more like a problem plus name so at this point is going to execute as well my name is Kyneton the genius so what can we do with this one thing we can do with this is to export it as HTML file or as PDF file we can also host it in GitHub so that we can run these programs from anywhere without having to set up Python in the system. So one place we can host it is in GitHub, and that I'm going to explain to you in subsequent tutorials. And we can also host it in Docker containers, as, as I will explain in subsequent tutorial. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to save this, note, uh, this notebook as HTML, and you can always send it to someone else or you can save it to a PDF. So just say download as and download as HTML. All right, so we can just say open. So it opens tutorial two as HTML. So at this point you have, it saves it somewhere in a temporary location. And so you can easily go here and just, uh, and just, uh, you can, sorry, you can use it for the menu. Just give me a second. Okay. Okay, can find this, but you can you can go to this directory and easily take this file. Let's also save it as a PDF file and see how it looks like. So just say file and say download as file download as and go to the last one PDF via latex PDF and okay it creates this gives this problem because we've not installed latex okay that's fine so but the important thing is we've seen how to create a notebook and write python code so you actually write python codes in the cells here i'd like to thank you for viewing by the next tutorial i'm going to create uh, a project maybe we can create write a, a, a simple equation and plot a graph and see how we can uh, save this graph inside the jupyter notebook and download it or maybe share it with a friend i'd like to thank you for viewing remember to subscribe click on the subscribe button like the video if it's been informative for you and then i'll see you in the next tutorial